Thursday afternoon, and this game should be no different to the others earlier today. Should be a cracker. Oh, mate, Mitch, it's, uh, it's going to be fantastic because the conditions are perfect. A little bit of a breeze, uh, probably going a little bit right to left across the field, so Nedlands will uh, get the benefit of that as we look to kick off here with Peter Fitzgerald. Taking kick, reserve grade, grand final underway. Taken well by Palmyra. I dare say they'll be probably looking to use the ball a little bit here to get it out of their own half. A little bit upright offload in the contact. <laughs> Risky play early on in a grand final, but uh, maybe Pally are willing to play that way today. So just working their way through Junior Greg playing 10. Sting camp. Trying to work their way out of their 40 at the moment. Probably struggling a little bit. The Netherlands defence is up for it, but they go to Junior Greg and he puts a high one in the air. A little bit of a tester, but it's only going to be a tester for someone sitting in the stand. So that ball's gone out. Yeah, on the full four, there. I was going to say, I thought yeah. it was taken back in. Uh, I just had to check my law book for a moment <laughs> there and uh, reassess. Yeah, referee this afternoon, Jack McClenahan, and assistant referees Ian Sunderland and Rowan Lee Titus. We're in charge of proceedings this afternoon for our reserve grade fixture as Nettie's have got the throw in the line out. And it's overthrown there. Picked up by Palmyra. They've taken the ball away. A little bit of an offload going through the middle. This is good attack from Palmyra. A great pat platform here in the middle of the field. And uh, that's how you lose a bit of momentum there. Well, oh, it's a harsh call against Palmyra there. He's ruling the play was held. Got up and went again. I'm not sure he was held. He certainly got brought to ground. It was a, it was a great breakout run there. From the number eight, Andrew McDonald, I think it was, from the overthrow from Netherlands. So just to run you quickly through the team sheets here, Jamie Horgood for Netherlands, Jaroslav Tamala, Anthony Moatane, Max Knox, Jack Nobbin, Hugo Wellborn in six, Jeremiah King in seven, Ben Calder in eight, Michael Bodez, Dylan Lovasich, the halves, Maya King and Sterling McDonald on the wings, James Dougal, Jake Steven Stevens in the centre, Peter Fitzgerald at 15 for Netherlands. As Netherlands win the line out well, Botez. Playing through Lovazidge. That's James Dougal, strong carry there, but good defence by Palmyra, locking him up. The ball's come out quite quickly though. Lovazidge on the edge, Maya King, big step off the left foot, working his way back in, but it was a uh, such a big step, he's put his foot out. Yeah, just touched the, the white chalk there on that time, and uh, just to run you through the Palmyra lineup, Carl Henry, Corgis, William Tui, Lee Sower, the front row for Pally. They've got Ruben Steenkamp and Matthias Galt in the locks. Max Bailey, Andrew McDonald, and Nathaniel Stafford in the back row. Zach Richardson, Junior Gregg, Power Sasepi, and Joshua Cravola on the wings. Turagava and Short in the centres, and Adam Turner at the back. As Nedlands have turned that over in the line out, it's a good defensive line out, put some pressure on Will Tui uh, on his throw. So Nedlands hard in attack here. They'll go through. Jeremiah King, they're carrying hard. Botez plays through Tamara. And the, the Palmyra defence is up for it today early on. Gang tackling, so they're trying to hold Nedlands up, slow the ball down that way. Lovazidge puts the foot to the ball. And that is a try. That's a great little try. Oh, the so opening Lovazidge. try. Yep, the opening try for the minor premiers, Nedlands. It was a great little clever kick through from Dylan Lovazidge. And Sterling McDonald, he just took his time. The ball just bobbled up and he was able to dot it down pretty clearly in the corner there. And a good little bit of patience there by M uh, McDonald just to let the ball come up Sit and up let him get him. a good sighting on it to, to get that placement there. So great start by Nedlands. They've started on fire. And even though we were saying Palmyra's defence was strong and they're trying to hold them up, very difficult when the ball gets put on the foot and, and a great kick too. Yeah, both, both teams this year have been pretty evenly matched. Dwayne Nedlands on the last account only just getting up 15 points to 7 against Palmyra. And Pally only just sneaking through against the Socius last week in the semi final. But this Nedlands team have been dominant in this reserve grade competition all year. They've got a good depth of experience and youth. There's a number of 19s players in the team. Plus, you've got the likes of James Dougal there in the midfield who's played a lot of Perth Gold and uh, been involved in Premier Grade rugby here for a very long time. And uh, not to mention the fact they've got Mikey Botez and Nathan Roberts as their halves. Uh, they will drive this Netherlands team around the field quite successfully this afternoon, I'd say. And that is a great kick. 
And uh, as we come back to the centre. Yeah, just dropped out. Everything's dropped out. Tui setting up first receiver, ball out the back. Offload in contact, it's gone free. That'll be picked up by Sasepi. Carries into contact. Mikey Botez might need to be a little careful there in that tackle. Up around Sasepi's head. So Palmyra settle it down. Richardson. Throwing these ball out the back. So Pally early on making the statement that they want to use the ball. And Richardson plays from the back of the ruck. He's a solid player. Solid build on him for a nine. Two. Ball out to the edge. Some solid contact here. We can hear Mikey Botez's shoulder there. Short just hovering over the ball in uh, in a supporting role. Tui crashes in there hard. Richardson. Playing through Junior Greg. Tura Garva stepping up into first receiver and looking to run off Greg's shoulder there, but it's cut out. Stripped there by Nedlands, and uh, I think that was uh, Dougal. Botez playing through Wellborn on the edge here. And that's Ben Calder carrying it on the edge. Mike King in support. He almost got the ball away. Lovasic plays it from the back of the ruck. Nobben carries it, buries his head into that tackle. Botez, Tamala stepping off the right foot, going into contact. Botez playing from the back. Lovasic at the back. Stevens going into contact. Good defence there by Palmyra. Some continuity here for Nedlands. Anthony Moatane carrying it hard. He's a big build and a hard man to put down. It was Nobbin almost looking like he tripped over his shoelaces there. Botez. Lovasic looks on the inside. Opens up that hole for him. He gets a free shoulder through. Hugo Welborn in support back to Botez playing it off the deck. Jamie Hall good carries into contact. Pally's defence is up to the challenge at this stage, Mitch. Oh, and a relieving penalty for Palmyra there. It was great continuity from Netherlands. Good patience with the football. But uh, Pally that time just biding their time and finally getting that pet relieving penalty. They were under enormous pressure there. And um, great continuity from Netherlands, Dwayne. And, and isn't it good to see the likes of Jamie Hallgood out there this afternoon playing his 200th game for Netherlands in a granny? Who could ask for more? <laughs> it's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? So you want to write the rest of it, you'd be saying he'd be the one holding up the trophy at the end of the night. Oh, he'd, be hunt he'd be hunting for a try here this afternoon too, the big number one. As uh, William Tui makes his way to the sideline to throw the ball in for Palmyra. Just inside their own half. Walking in the front. There's a bit of pressure coming through from Netherlands in the line out. Yeah, defended that one well that time, Netherlands. They did do the bulk jump, Pally, but Netherlands read it pretty well. Now to spoil Pally's line out there, they'll, they'll still get the scrum through the knock on from the, the Netherlands player. Speaking about a couple of the players out here this afternoon, Tamala Moatane, two 19s players, along with Hugo Wellborn and Sterling McDonald, also a young up-and-comer out there for Netherlands. And also Turagava for Pally, one of the young up-and-comers. And, -comers. and uh, Mikey McDonald's twin brother, Andrew McDonald, out there this afternoon as well at number eight. As we set the scrum on the 40-metre line inside Pally's half, Interesting to see how 
The scrum battle goes today. It's always a, always a good battle in uh, in grand finals. It's amazing how front rows can find a little bit more energy to uh, set up a good platform for the team in a grand final. The backs are certainly appreciating it. Junior Greg, fly half for Pally. Just having a look, seeing what the defence has set up. So Pally been 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 willing to throw the ball around early this afternoon. The opening exchanges here this afternoon. So. Just need to settle things down. It's an enormous scrum from Netherlands to get the tight head. That is a statement there. Ben Calder picking it up from the back. So, Netherlands front row there sending a uh, big message to Pally. We are coming at you in the scrum. So, the Netherlands now start another probably a uh, set of phases where they want to get some continuity and continue to build this pressure. Dougal over the ball, clears from the back. And that's Fitzgerald taking in in the contact making his way into the back line there from fullback, Botez. Maya King, they're playing first receiver and getting the ball off in contact. Dougal. A little bit, a little bit messy there, the breakdown, and uh, the referee's saying there's a little knock on there by Nedlund, so it'll be another opportunity for Pally to get their scrum set and uh, not lose it in convincing fashion like they did the first one. Yeah, so we're just about, you know, in the opening exchange of these grand finals, both teams playing some good attacking football, but just being a little bit hesitant to push the pass, just play that extra phase. It's going to be a great battle this afternoon. If the earlier games this afternoon have anything to go by, it's going to go right down to the wire. From number two field here at Kingsway, the, uh, the third grade game went into extra time. Early this afternoon, we saw Junal up kicker conversion on the full-time siren to beat North Coast in the under-18s. So plenty of close contests this afternoon, just showing how how close this competition is. And when you get to grand final day, it's anyone's game. And just watching the flags there, Mitch, I think that breeze is picking up and it's sort of coming a little bit across the field, but slightly in the favour of Nedlin. So it'll be interesting to see if they do decide to utilise that in the first half and play more of a kicking game as they settle in. As we pack down the scrum here. To Pally have locked that scrum out quite well. They'll win that ball back and the ref will allow, allow that to play. Junior Greg puts it on the toe. That's charged down though, so that's anybody's ball. Looks like Pally have picked it back up and they are on attack now. There's a tackle there. Richardson, or low ball for Greg. Throws the long ball out wide. They're playing to the edge. Getting some space out there too, Pally. So that'll uh, get them interested. One out passing now, letting the forwards do the work. Yeah, they picked it off there. They just went one out, as you said, Dwayne, and just be able to expose himself to Netherlands getting over the ball and forcing the penalty. It was good, good play down the edges there from Palmyra, though. They're getting good mileage when they are using the ball wide, and I think that speed of the game suiting them beautifully, but they just got to be careful they don't. Go 2 1 out, too close to the ruck because this bigger Netherlands pack will pick them off. So, Netherlands now going for a, a short, shorter line out. Hugo Wellborn out here in the centres looking for a carry. And it's a clean win there. Botez feeding the ball, playing it out the back. And that is a good bump off there. Oh, Hugo Wellborn through. straight through, the and they are not going to catch him. Hugo Wellborn bumps off a would-be tackler, breaks through another two tackles and shows considerable pace to dot the ball over the line. And uh, Nedlands, two up. I'll tell you what, Hugo Wellborn, he must have his mum's pace because it's certainly a lot quicker than John Wellborn used to move. And what a terrific carry from him. He just hit the ball at speed, did the big speed bump, don't argue, and just pinned his ears back. And, geez, he showed some good toe there just to go score just outside of the post. And his second, second try of this afternoon for the Netherlands minor premiers. They go to 12 points to nil with a kick to come. Fantastic effort from Hugo. And it just goes to show, Mitch, when you've got back rowers who do have pace, just, it's almost like adding uh, extra centres to your attack. Uh, and then Hugo showed, he showed good strength and body shape as well to make that initial bump off and then accelerated through that tackle uh, and broke through another couple. And... Uh, what I liked about that too, Dwayne, is James Dougal's um, dummy line there. Just, just sucked in and just held the defence just, just for that fraction. Dylan Lovacic obviously took the ball to the line then and just that ball out the back allowed Hugo Wellborn to hit it at speed as the kick from Fitzgerald. 
is successful. So the flags are up. So 14 points to nil on our reserve grade grand final deer here, here this afternoon, brought to you by Fortescue and alcohol. Think again, the belt up message. So it's a wonderful afternoon here at Kingsway Reserve. If you think about coming down, get yourselves down here because it is a fantastic uh, oval. And there's food trucks, drinks areas, plenty of space for the kids. So if you are coming down for the big game this afternoon, make sure you get here soon and, and grab a spot. As Nedlands working their way out of their 22 with a good carry, a couple of good carries actually, into Lovisage. And he puts a bit of a high one. It's, it's one of those ones that's too big um, and not too short that it's uh, effective. But that's a fantastic chase by Nedlands. And they put some pressure on here as Pally trying to work their way. Now Richardson digging in for the ball. Hits Tui, big, big step off his left foot. Back to Richardson, Greg, hand out, ready for the ball. Playing through the midfield, Pally. And they're finding it really hard against this Netherlands defence. Hugo Wilborn searching for the ball over. But he's uh, going to get pinged for going off his feet. Or playing the ball off his yeah, feet. Yeah, certainly a rucks form there. You've got to stay on your feet. Just getting a bit overzealous there. Hugo, he's pretty happy with himself. Just getting a try moments earlier. Useful enthusiasm, and yeah, you know, as a, as a coach, you're probably not going to get too upset with that because of the enthusiasm. And uh, the ball was certainly there, it was very tempting for him, so he's certainly not going to die wondering. So, the Pally line out has been a little bit under pressure early on in the piece here this afternoon, just over halfway through this first half. Short line out for Palmyra. and the rear lift on that has just completely missed it. Yet William too, he hasn't thrown it straight anyway. So it was a bit of a bit of a mess as a line out there for Pally. So they might be a bit flustered as as I say that. Corgus, the loose head for Pally, just showing uh, his teammates just let's just calm it down. That's right. Just a uh, little bit of anxiousness there creeping into the Palmyra line out. Just they just needed to keep it simple and execute well that time. Took a William Tui just rifling that one down to the back of the line out. It was crooked on all counts. As they pack the scrum and the referee waiting for that to be stable, it stabilises. And that's a good shove by Pally. They put some pressure on, but Botez got the ball out. Mike King carrying it first off the first hands off the scrum. Well born. Takes it forward. He's got a, he's got elusive feet, well born. So he's got pace and agility. Lovesage, Dougal shows that inside ball then out. Gets a nice little neat pass off the deck. Botez hitting his little pod of forwards there. The supports there to secure good ball. Playing it out the back. Lovesage, Dougal stepping off that left foot, shrugging off Max Bailey. Max Bailey goes again and gets shrugged off again. It's almost but rinse and repeat. Max Bailey in the contest, but there is none there. Mikey Botez bombing that ball into the 22. The bounce could go anywhere, but uh, bringing it back would have been interesting just to see uh, if that could have been played a little bit more advantage there. Oh, Jimmy Dougal just manhandling the Pally defenders there. Just poor old Max Bailey had about four cracks at him there, and it was just go away, go. He's like swatting, swatting flies. flies. <laughs> He's a mountain. He hasn't lost any of his strength from his earlier days where he was a rampaging centre for the Perth Gold. Played a lot of his Premier Rugby at Rockingham Rugby Club. And, uh, he was part of an under-15 Netherlands grand final team this afternoon with his young fellow playing and a granny. The father and son, son being involved in grand final day up here at Kingsway Reserve. So they're going to have a long-range shot here, Dwayne, which is an interesting call just to settle things down. Certainly within range for... Um, someone like McDonald, uh, Fitzgerald to kick this one. And he, he, he struck the first two well, so he'd probably be very confident about getting this one because it's well within his range. And, and it just sort of, it says to uh, Pally as well that they've got uh, they've got to score three times to get themselves back in this game, really. That's what uh, the message is being sent. And the other thing too is grand final football, uh, Mitch, is you want to be just keeping that scoreboard ticking over as we're approaching the 20 minute mark of this first half. And you just, you just look at this Nedlands back line and you think they've got threats pretty much all the way through it. Mike King on the left wing. Dougal's going to do a truckload of work, especially early on. 
Fitzgerald strikes it, and it is a little off target. It wasn't a bad strike, but a little bit off target, so it goes to the left. They wouldn't be too unhappy about that. It does just to settle things down for the Netherlands team at the moment. Mike's Pally, just think about what they've got to do. They're in this little bit of a breeze that's favouring Netherlands at the moment as the number nine for Pally gets us back underway. It's not a long kick, and just Nettie takes her time bringing this one back. Dylan Loversidge just puts a foot to ball again. Pops it close to the sideline. It's not a bad kick, actually. Mikey Botez, don't do a hamstring chasing that, my friend. And uh, Cheryl taking the ball back, skipping into the contact. Ability to play to the left here through Nobini Dummies and goes himself and gets good shoulders through. That's, they've slowed the ball down there a little bit, Netherlands, where they got a shoulder through and got a bit of momentum. They've got numbers around the ball. Botez playing there to Jeremiah King who carries it. But unfortunately knocks it on. Yeah, good, good little bit of foot speed there from Jeremiah King. But uh, just a little bit ill-disciplined with holding on to the footy once he hit the, the turf. And Mikey Botus has really got a lot of options out there at the moment on the left and right. Like just as they're setting up the phase, Dwayne, the Netherlands are getting good numbers in place to, uh, to get a number of phases together. It's just lacking that little bit of execution out wide just to really break the Palmyra line. So... Tries that have scored so far have come from pretty weak defence, you know, where the defenders have, have, have made their first up tackles. But when Pally do get it right, there's not much on. No, that's exactly right. And I think Pally are trying to work really hard in keeping a defensive line and being able to defend at the width of the field. Uh, we'll see how that goes as the game progresses. Because there, there will be some tired legs as the game goes on. Pally win the ball well and to drive the ball along into Netherlands 22. But there's a penalty there. So it'll come back, a scrum penalty. I didn't see, uh, didn't see what happened there. I'm Offside. Not sure. Offside, Offside by the looks of it. Yeah, maybe an early break from the scrum. He's certainly uh, yeah. signalling offside, so maybe an early break from the scrum there from Netherlands. But that Pally scrum, Dwayne, is starting to really uh, get the ascendancy over Netherlands at the moment. So and obviously just, just got to work at it. And if they can get their line out right, they, uh, they could turn this game around. Definitely, like that set piece is important. And uh, after that first scrum, uh, one would have thought that Netherlands might have jumped on top of them very quickly, but they've knuckled down the Palmyra forwards and starting to set a half-decent platform for their backs. So we'll see how they go. This is probably the first foray into the Netherlands 22 for Palmyra. So we'll see if they can put some points on the board. There is pressure from that line-out, but they've done well. Richardson goes himself. He needs some support. Managed to get that there. That's McDonald clearing from the back. Greg carrying it into some solid defence. They've got some good ball out of that. Greg short, looking to offload. That makes a good decision there. Probably good decision not by Netherlands to not play that on the ground. Richardson goes himself. Some animated uh, people on the sideline here, and there is another penalty. So this is a good for. Palmyra, building some pressure and getting the benefit of it with a penalty there. Yeah, if I was them, I'd take the scrum from this one. I probably wouldn't risk the line out. Not with the pressure that, uh, that Nedlin's line out is putting on them. So I'd, uh, I'd be with you there, Mitch. A uh, steady head might say, pick the scrum. Yeah, and that's what they've done. So good call from Palmyra to go with their scrum to back themselves in, build a little bit of pressure. They'll be aiming to get some points on the scoreboard leading into half time here. And there is plenty of time for them to, to get some points, get their scoreboard ticking over. And, and almost give them the sense that they're back in the game by, by scoring some points. Absolutely. Zach Richardson's having a pretty good game so far, the number nine for Pally. He's had a couple of little darts around the edge. He's got, had made some good options. And he's not afraid, uh, not afraid at all to have a go, Mitch. So he'll ask questions. <laughs> Pally scrum, very strong. Oh, but, the big uh, penalise for going across there. Hard to tell from the angle we're on, Mitch, there. Oh, yeah. but What yeah. happens in those scrums sometimes, nobody knows. Well, Jack McClanahan, the referee this afternoon, certainly with a signal indicating that Pally had sheared right across. It's always hard, that one. Might have been a little bit of wise heads from maybe Jamie Hallgood. Sucking them in there. 
Fitzgerald just goes to the sideline. Netherlands will have a line out just outside their 22. So they're not out of the woods yet here, Netherlands. Pally just need to put a bit of pressure on this line out. And it, there it is. It's through McDonald who snaffles it out of the air. And Pally are in attack now. So Richardson, short side, Lee Sower off close to William Tui. He makes it. And he has done exceptionally well to make it to that corner. But we'll just see if the referee has awarded it. Yes, yes. I've seen arm up with the whistle. Yep. He's gone certainly to the assistant touch referee judge. gave him the thumbs up there. And it's certainly by all accounts, William too. He showed some good footwork. He didn't, didn't have a lot what? to work with there. And what about the ball from Lee Sower as well? He just sucked in the defenders and shifted a nice little pass down to... His partner, William Tui, and I think the backs out here on the left were all screaming at him because they thought it was the wrong wrong option. But what are they going to get here? No try. No try. Wow. Oh, so Controversy is... there. I'm not sure what the ruling's going to be, but certainly it'll be a goal line dropout for Nedlands. Whether or not he lost possession as he actually dotted it down in that corner, it was hard to pick up from where we are. Yeah, that's a tough call for Palmyra because they would have been up and about had they got that try. And it was some good, great work by front rows. Lee so a beautiful set of hands. And so we will have the line drop out. But Pally, Palmyra should get a lot of confidence from that too, Dwayne, because their, their, their set pieces is starting to come together and they're certainly looking very dangerous in attack. Absolutely, Mitch, and that was taken well by Turagava. So Pally back in attack through Richardson, hitting McDonald, carrying upright and getting a good shot on him. And he managed to fight through that tackle. Richardson back to the short side, through Greg, to Regala. He's doing a truckload of work in terms of their attack so far. Offloading through the forward pads, forward pack. Back towards the centre of the field. Pally got some support there. just blowing that one up just uh, held up there on that one and Netherlands will get the scrum so another opportunity for Pally to put some pressure on this Netherlands club scrum at the moment tight head, tight head here would be very very nice for the Palmyra players to play with Turagava the young centre he's a real solid player he's the one in number 12 with the white extended socks on him and we don't we appreciate that because it makes it easier to call him. Pick so. him out, and he's got the black head gear as well. He's a bit similar to his winger, uh, centre partner, or the 5'8 out there, the 5'8, Junior Greg. So, oh, and oh. then he's under under a bit of pressure there, and I, that's been scooped up. There we go. By There's ben the turnover Carter. they want. But that was a knock on there, but at the back of the scrum, and that came from the pressure of the Palmyra scrum. So you may not get a tight head, so to speak, but you get a turnover and you get a. Uh, another shot at it. So, a fantastic opportunity here. If Palmyra's forward pack can get a good platform here, an opportunity for the backs. They've got some options there. Turagar has already shown what he can do so far in the game. Mitchell short of 13. Yeah, he's good, uh, good attacking weapon out right here for Mitchell short. Josh Cravola on the wing. So they've got some speed. Uh, some speed on the wing. Setting up some options here. Yeah, it's good to it's good to see Payo Sasepi, this line side winger, just offering himself yeah, as an option. Just sitting in the pocket here, Dwayne. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes off the ten zip here. Man, it looks like they'll play him out the back. Or they go short to Mitchell Short. And getting some forwards around the corner. That's Andrew McDonald. He's loving the work he's getting through today. Greg takes it to the line. And that is Sasepi who goes into contact. Greg supports, making sure that Pally can get the ball back. And there is another penalty. So, Netherlands probably, they might want to start to yeah, we'll get a bit of yellow here, Mitch. I reckon we'll get a bit of yellow soon. I reckon one more. And the referee might be having a bit of a chat. And we'll get a team warning out of here. So, Pally just needs to sustain this pressure. I go another scrum. And they do so, Mitch. So this is good for Pally. Even though they're not putting points on the board, they're trapping Netherlands in their own 22. And that can build pressure. 
and there, there, as you said, Mitch, there are some steady, some uh, steady, more experienced heads in the Netherlands team, but uh, it only takes one mistake. Pally may be able to take advantage of that. So, see how the scrum goes. It's nice and solid. It's a good platform by Palmyra. Netherlands have held them well. Richardson plays through Greg, takes it to the line, plays out the back to Turagava, and he carries hard. Jake Stephen with a strong left shoulder. Richardson deciding to go himself on the short side, and there was an opening, but it closed down quickly. And there is hands on there. Well done by Netherlands getting in over the ball. Oh, Lover said he's just gone straight up, and he's just run straight into the number 12, Turagava, and he's taken a dive just to suck in the extra 10 metres. <laughs> and there is a big grin on his face too. <laughs> yeah, but it was good defence there from Netherlands, right under their goal line and their goal post. Just get there and take a quick tap here and off they go. Maya King working off his wing and uh, he you, you don't want to give him too much space. Botez shapes to go, goes himself. Slowing this down now. Playing through Jeremiah King. Netherlands taking the ball up to the 40 metre line. The full width of the field to play with now, Lovers Edge. Botez gets to the back of the ruck, plays. They've got numbers here. Lovers Edge shapes to go himself. He's got opportunities on the inside. Well, Pally's on that nearly. Able to clear that out. So Botez goes to Wellborn. Wellborn sort of wiggling his way, turning and. Pally on that ball, and oh yeah, there's been some pressure there, and that's a turnover. That will be a turnover. Good positioning by Will Tui. Yeah, they nearly got it the phase before, but the second time, lucky. They get themselves another turnover penalty. So both teams really putting pressure at the breakdown, just being fairly accurate with their defence and then contesting the ball. And when the team isn't getting their clean-outs right, Dwayne, they're paying the price. Absolutely, and there's enough players on the field too to pressure ball at the breakdown or the tackle zone. I don't know about this call, long range penalty. I think this is a bit risky. Just wanting to uh, wanting to get points on the board, Mitch, I'd say. Wanting to open their account. Yeah, but they've got plenty of time. You know what? Oh, there's probably got another six or seven minutes left of this first half. Mm. They've probably had every opportunity to, to post themselves a try. Just moments earlier, William Tui, very unlucky not to be awarded a try in the right hand corner. The referee awarded the he lost connection with the ball when he dotted it down. As Edward Turagava setting himself for this kick. He's taking his time too. The breeze will take that just to the left. So it wasn't a bad strike, Mitch. But no points. Tell you what, that's not a bad strike either. That's a big kick. And he's uh, spilled that over the sideline, the number 10, Junior Greg. And then he might end up with this line out. Oh no, he was over the sideline already. There you go. That's uh, from Mikey Botez's boot. That's, that has, a, that's a 55 metre clearance there because he pretty much kicked it from his own goal line. So a fantastic exit by Mike Botez. Just throws a little bit of pressure back on Pally. They've got to work hard now. And that line out. Got to get that sorted or that's going to cost them. Lovesage goes to the ground. Botez. King. Loves to get his hands on the ball as first receiver. Jeremiah King. Going through Fitzgerald. Stevens. Stevens. Palms off and he goes to the outside. He gets caught by the... Pally defence, that was Turagava who managed to scrag him. Fitzgerald plays Wellborn, Wellborn going into contact, supported by Jack Melbourne. And there's oh. a little lock on. Yeah, I reckon Nathan Stafford or Andy McDonald probably got the hand in there. Caused a disruption to the ball on Hugo Wellborn to get the knock on. And just as when you think Netherlands are starting to build some momentum and phases, they make another little mistake. Gives the possession back to Palmyra. Palmyra aren't out of this game. They certainly had the opportunities. 14 points to nil at the moment. Two tries, two conversions. Now a 
see what Pally can do here. Another set piece for him, another scrum. Obviously, they're favouring the scrums because their line-out isn't functionally overly well. So Richardson beats the ball. It's another solid scrum. And Netherlands don't look like they can do too much to the Pally scrum at the moment. So that's Mitchell Short carrying there. Looking like they're setting up for an exit. Richardson box kick. Box kicks to the centre of the field and nobody's there to take it from Nedland. So the bounce falls in their favour with King scooping it up. A good low wrap tackle there by McDonald. Nedland's hardened attack now. They've got an opportunity and a uh, little error. So the, oh, there's a few knock-ons at the tackle zone here, Mitch. So Yeah, it's another little error and that'll take us into half time. So in our reserve grade, Fortescue grand final for 2022. Nedlands will go in at half time, 14 points nil up. Tries to Hugo Wellborn and Stolly McDonald and two conversions to Peter Fitzgerald. Palmyra's had every opportunity, but it's Nedlands, the minor premiers, that have got their noses in front, as we'll be back with you shortly after a short break. Brought to you by the Rugby WA community partners, the Belt Up Message, Fortescue, Alcohol Think Again, Outside the Locker Room, Ascend Physiotherapy, Good Life Health Clubs, Fit to Travel, LMSC, Gilbert, Ape Medical, Mannington Toyota and Canning Vale Toyota, uh, ENIQ. Score at the moment, 14 points to nil in favour of Nedlands. The Viner Premiers got their tails up. They're in front with two good tries in the first half. The Hugo Wellborn and Sterling McDonald as we get back underway. Dylan Lovasic takes the kick off and he'll just put it into touch and he'll find touch just outside there, 22 near the 10 metre line. Palmyra will get the first throw of the afternoon, uh, the second half. Their liner has been struggling a little bit. So William Tui has got to get this one right. They've had their opportunities this afternoon in the first half, Palmyra, but just not able to convert. The line out stolen by Nedlands through Jamie Hallgood. They'll rumble it up now. Nedlands playing Nate Roberts on the field now, so they made that change. And when you're swapping Nate Roberts uh, from Mikey Botez, you're doing well. Absolutely. 300 game Dude. player, Nate Roberts. Oh, I think he's done something there. That looked, that looked a bit awkward, didn't it, Mitch? Uh, he may not get up from that one, Dukes. As Nedlands play on, they go to the far side of the field through Horgood. Come off that edge. Playing through Max Knox there, carrying. Going to ground. There's a bit of pressure on there. They slowed it down. Wee. Oh, nobody wants it. Maya King will be the one who comes up with it. So they'll reset from this. D Dylan loves it. Trying to do a clear out there, but he was more so sitting down on himself. Anthony Moatane carries there. Beats his opposite, Lee Sower. Roberts. Dougal's back up, he's into it. It might have been just a bit of a jar. Roberts. He's got World One on the short side playing through Nobbin. Stays alive in that contact. It was Andrew McDonald who looked a bit awkward when he went to ground there. King. There's a bit of pressure on there, Mitch, at the breakdown, and they'll get a reward a rewarded through Nathaniel Stafford. Yeah, great work from the Nathal Nathaniel staff at that time. Again, Palmyra just picking off Nedlands after a couple of phases. James Dougal in a lot of trouble here. He's going to come off the field. Looks like he's done a groin or something. It'd be a big call for him to come off. It's certainly very uncomfortable at the moment. So, again, Nedlands willing to build the phases, but just lacking that extra bit of edges. I don't think that kick's going to be going out. And it's very well taken there by Peter Fitzgerald, just above his head. And he was able to play on there and play into Maya King. So probably a missed opportunity there for Palmyra, even though they're in uh, Nedlands half. They would have wanted oh, the set piece. Oh, oh. <laughs> and play on. Thou, Peo Sesepi. Oh, so close to getting that, retrieving that, pulling it back in. 
Why aren't we playing advantage there? That was just uh, loose football. And I think uh, Jack McClanahan, the referee, realising that he probably blew a little bit too early on that one and that Nedlands could have done a, a counter-attacking opportunity to take it away. So another replacement's out there. It's number 19. Aaron Evans is on for Nedlands in place of James Dougal. So that could be a big factor. James Dougal's been key to this Nedlands reserve grade side across the season. But they've got some very able replacements on their bench this afternoon, Nedlands. Yeah, it's a quality bench, isn't it, Mitch? It, uh, and it, and it'll pay dividends in grand finals. So Roberts feeds the scrum. And it's locked out well by oh. the Nedlands forwards, but that's been knocked on. Now, that gives Palmyra a fantastic opportunity. It's a little bit of a left-side scrum here. There's a big, a, a big left-hand short side. So it'll just be interesting to see how Pally set this up in attack. Yeah, I hope they split their centres. At least we're splitting it, so just trying to fracture that Nedlands defensive line out. And uh, what a crucial mistake. Aaron Evans only just come on the field first touch. Drops it, knocks it on. A little bit, a uh, little bit of nerves there. Yeah, possibly. Suggest Mitch. Just certainly puts his team under a lot of pressure. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sure he will so make the amends. They haven't split here. So inside centre Turagava is key here. Look for him to look to truck this one into the into the Dylan Lovesage channel, channel. I reckon. McDonald off the back. It was well picked up with one hand. He's done well to get some width on that. But Richardson plays through Greg. Going short. Short gets oh, an offload ball. in the contact. It's a great offload. And he's over in the that. corner. Adam Turner. What a fantastic ball for Mitch Short. Just got to the outside man beautifully. And it was just that backhand pass that he was able to get away. And Adam Turner, what a great little finish from him. The little, the little fullback. And Mitchell Short's got that uh, that uh, that in him where he can actually play some uh, some good offloading game. He's a strong carrier and he's got a little bit of acceleration and, and that's what it was, a bit of acceleration with a good fan. And you're just able to get that ball out the back and fantastic finish. Yeah, and he put that down to good lead-up work from Andrew McDonald. You called it, Dwayne, that, that beautiful pick-up from the back of the scrum which got him into that 10 channel there to give you the front foot ball to be able to release the outside backs to get to the outside shoulder. So... <laughs> Good play. That's just what Palmyra needed coming out of half time. A couple of early errors from Nedlands. They were very unlucky in the first half, Palmyra, not to get on the put, on the board. But get their try time in the first opening minutes of this second half is crucial. And they've got a slight breeze at their back as well. So that will help things as far as getting some field position and further possession for them. And certainly if uh, Edward Turavaga Tur can get uh, this kick through the posts, it's going to make it very interesting. Look, good looking kick, but he's just left it a little bit to the right. So it makes you wonder whether that breeze, once the ball gets up in the air a bit, it's coming across the field, I reckon, taken. pushing yeah. towards the uh, the roadside where you can see the buses parked there in the distance. So just coming across from the ocean up on our backs here at the moment. There's a little bit of cloud cover starting to push in. It was very warm here earlier in the afternoon, but just starting to cool down a bit now as Fitzgerald gets us back underway. It's a good take by Palmyra, so they'll set up some shape here, looking to exit their own half and hopefully do it effectively. Trying to do that through Matthias Galt. I'll go back to Junior Greg on his right foot. That was taken back, so he's got to keep it in. So Maya King takes that cleanly. It's still on the lover's edge. Back to Maya King, little run around. And a set of wheels there. Sterling McDonald. Well, they got that pally again. And there you go. Picked him off. Nedlands clean out. All too late. And no. it is one of those problems that you can possibly have if you've got if you've got backs who uh, are quite quick and they get away from their support a bit, Mitch, and a clean tackle, they get left exposed. Yeah, especially when you've got a Palmyra defence, just sitting back a little bit, just waiting for that low wrap tackle, and then they can come in and pick it off. Um, but certainly, Sterling McDonald. I thought he was through there. He beat the first man and just got grasped but Nedlands just lacking that little bit of urgency on the clean out at the moment and just allowing Palmyra to, to, to pick up the odd penalty on the breakdown and, uh, and Andrew McDonald's been sweating on those opportunities 
as William Tui gets set for the line-out. They've gone jumped early, and once again, the Pally line-out just letting them down here this afternoon. Carried by Sam Murray-Abraham for Nedlands. King cut down low by Andrew McDonald. Nedlands just battling their way through the middle of the field here. Roberts, Lovesage, Stevens using his pace to get on the outside. Meyer King coming back on the inside. And the referee says that pass was okay, so they play on. Roberts. Nobbin carrying. Oh, good carry. Strong body position, wasn't it, Mitch, to carry? But Stevens going into contact there. They've got advantage here in Netherlands, so see what they can do with that. King gets through his shoulders through. No one's there to clear the ball. Love his itch. Well, we do have an, there's an injury there. One of the Netherlands players just screaming there. Ball's been put through and... Uh, yeah, it's uh, the replacement, Aaron Evans, I think, has done his knee as he's gone through there in that contact. You could hear squealing. Sterling McDonald with some pace down the, down the uh, sideline there. Mitch, he's, he's wanting to get in the game, Sterling McDonald, in the second half. But, yeah, that didn't look, uh, didn't look like a good reaction there by Aaron yeah. Evans. It was a good lead up there. It was a uh, good quick ball, early phases. A good carry from Jack Nobbin in the midfield, but then they just lacked that little bit of urgency thereafter. Just a fraction off the pace in this in this game, Netherlands. They just have a feeling that they're about to break Palmyra open, open, but then they just can't retain possession. There's been a couple of small little knock-ons, a couple of missed clean-outs. Certainly can't write this Palmyra team off. They're certainly in this game, 14 points to five. How are getting the... First try of the second half, the fullback Adam Turner. Yes, we're going to have to get another centre on the field here. Aaron Evans is going to leave the field. So, again, they're going to have to look to the bench. We've already used a couple of replacements here, so tactically, the have got to th have a good think about it. It's unfortunate uh, for Aaron there, like you, uh, you're making the grand final. And, uh... well, we've got Amaru Itty coming on the field, another talent. He's only 18 years of age. He's in the uh, the state 19 squad. He's a solid young lad. Black headgear out there. He'll certainly bolster up the centres. And what a great experience for him. 18 years in a senior grand final. And, and, and the enthusiasm that he is definitely going to bring uh, into the match now, Mitch, could uh, could be extremely valuable for Netherlands. That sometimes it's uh, enthusiasm that wins you a grand final. So. See how he, see how he goes, Amaru Itty. Keep an eye on him. As Nedlands go to the line out. It's Marla to throw in the ball. And a good win there. They go to Nob and that was and uh, Pally have tried to sack that, but Nedlands have stayed up. If they they're wanting to play out of it. Lovazich. Playing Maya King out the back, supports there quickly. Playing through Stevens, he's accelerated, he's got a fend on, but it's been held on. I'll go to the breakdown. Roberts is the back, waiting, he wants the ball. Sam Murray Abraham carrying there, it's through Lovazich. Out the back to Maya King, Maya King has done a lot of work off his wing and he's going to score. He's going to slice through the Pally defence. Just that extra body coming to the back line there, Mitch. Uh, just asking questions of the defence and he, uh, he's got enough pace, Maya King, to get over and just uh, squeeze a bit more pressure onto Pally. Yeah, it was excellent play out the back there. It was uh, a good little forward pod that had set themselves up midfield. We just held the defence there and the ball out the back to Lovisage was able to pick up Mike King, who's worked very well off his wing this afternoon. He was able to step off the left and the left again, and then it was all too easy for him to dot it down just adjacent to the post of Nedlin's third try of the afternoon. It was good lead-up work as well. Nath Roberts starting to get his rhythm in the game. The 300-match player for Nedlin's coming off the bench for this second half, and he's really going to drive his pack and ensure that they're a little bit more accurate at the breakdown and that they execute well in attack. And Dylan Lovasic having a good game as well. He's option taking. The skipper has been very good in this game and that's a perfect example of it. So score now 19 points to five with a kick to come. Peter Fitzgerald 
His first two conversions this afternoon were very good. And Nedlin's a strike straight back after letting Palmyra in for their first try. It's a good strike, but it's oh. out to the right. So he's a little bit wayward just off the tee there. He sliced that. He's, he just stopped at the ball a little bit there, and he just came straight off it. Just watch, like watching you play golf, Dwayne. Uh, well, that's true. It could go anywhere, absolutely anywhere. But uh, you mentioned Dylan Lovesage there, uh, Mitch. He's, he's done real versatility, pushed back to fullback, and he's come back up into the first receiver role again. So good carry there by Netherlands to bring the ball back. And that's Jason McPherson, Karipa, well born. He's fighting in the contact hard, getting the ball back. Nate Roberts looking up, looking for the space. Box kick that right on top of... Peo Sasepi wants to take him on, get on the outside. Played the ball back in, that's been play on there. So Pally off the hook there because it could have been called out. Richardson burrows his way in there. Pally just trying to work their way out of their half. Maybe Adam Turner puts a kick in the air, but it's, it's quite shallow. And <laughs> nobody wants it though. It's oh, come back to Richardson. <laughs> Almost back to where he passed the ball from. Pally. Greg. Through to Tui. Tui steps back on the left foot into the contact. Richardson going in there. But uh, penalty advantage. Bringing it back to Palomar. Yeah, I think they've got him offside there. Nedlin's breaking early when they're about to kick the ball there. It was a bit of an aimless old kick though. I think got to be a, give us a little bit more than that, Palomar, rather than putting up up and unders in the midfield. You're not out of it yet, lads. <laughs> Oh, that's a great kick from Turner. That that's is, put it out. That is five a metres out from the kick. goal line there. So, so all of a sudden, from within their own half, they are in a fantastic attacking opportunity here. The only problem, Mitch, is that their uh, their line out has not functioned well today. So, would it, would it be a case of just simplifying it, mate, and going? Yeah, float a two, as they say. Float <laughs> a two. <laughs> Make sure you win. Straight up at two. As and close that, to that five metre line as possible. Be, and that, would, that would be Matthias Gold. They'd be going to. He's only short lock, and he's but he's gone up and oh, oh, it's yeah. contested there. He doesn't have the height, Matthias Gold, but it's it's a low throw by William Two. He's straight to Nedlands. We've got the ball back. Able to relieve pressure. Yeah, a oh, lot of space here. And he'll love that space too. He plays to Turner. Turner gets on the outside. Mike King jams back in, but misses that tackle. There's an offload there. And we uh, Mitchell Short picking it up. Not many options there. It's been stripped. Dylan loves it. Scoops it up and drops it onto the toe. Turner going back. He's got a little bit of pressure coming through Wellborn and Stevens, and he returns kick. And oh, he could have overcooked that one. No, it's going to sit up. Yeah. Maya King will bring that back. He won't kick it. He will want to run. He loves to run and bumps off. It's a good, and it's a good return carry by Maya King just to get back to his support players. Numbers. Nedlin's play through the hands is it's great hands too. Oh, forward. The referee. Forward pass. There was big holes there in the midfield as well. The big number three, Moatane, just hadn't kept his depth there and just overcooked it. And, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of aimless kicking going on here from Palmyra at the mo moment. I'm much sooner sit, see them with the ball in hand and just show a bit of patience and composure and build some phases. You know, they're trying to pin Nedlands in their own half, but I think there's a time to kick and a time to run at the moment. They're just over-kicking a little bit. And so we're seeing it. Number 22 for Palmyra coming Christian on the field. Christian doesn't look like Christian Devadra. I was just about Pretty to sure he doesn't look like that. Let's it just could be Troy Chris Troy could be, It could be Troy Christmas there, I... Uh, and uh, oh, I think that, come off the field, is it? And that, uh, is, is that Tamala? Trav Travis Ball going on? Is that ball who's just gone on the field? Yep, I'd say it would be. He's got the build of a ball. Yep. And he's uh, going to the front row, so it would make sense. So, centre field scrum here. Good opportunity for Pally. And split left. They're looking to go, and they go right. I don't think that was meant to go that way, but uh, a little bit of pressure from the scrum. So Pally just resetting themselves here. Oh, I made a meal of it. Humble. And, uh, as 
advantage to Netherlands. And I'll take it too. There's a bit of pressure. The, 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 the tackle zone is becoming a little bit messy. You don't want to be making these small errors, do you, Mitch? Especially in the second half of a grand final when you need to be building pressure to get points. Yeah, continuity is key here. They've got to, they've got to build some phases and, and build their confidence and get into a bit of a rhythm in the game rather than be this stop-start sort of stuff where you can't actually get a foothold into the game here. Going from set-piece to set-piece is not doing Palmyra any favours at the moment. Uh, to Agava, first receiver on the left side. They've left Greg on the right side to defend Palmyra. So you see, they come to the right, Nedlands, and they put it on the toe, and it is a good kick oh, to contest, up. depending <laughs> on where it goes. <laughs> and Sassepi has the ball just outside the Nedlands 22. In attack, Andrew McDonald carrying, in, carrying into some big shoulders there. Richardson, Greg. Pally going through their forwards in the middle of the field. Richardson playing back to Greg. He's got some options here to Agava. Turner just getting caught there. Wrestled to the ground. Tui. Doing, good, doing well to actually scoop that ball in. It was behind him as he's attacked the line. Some good defence by Nedlands getting off the line. To McPherson, Karipa, he read that well and got up in their face. So Pally getting some continuity, Mitch, but there, there's not much variety or options in attack. They start to run a few little lines here through Mitchell Short, just a nice little short ball. Richardson. To the forwards. So it's just that this, this slow rucks are allowing... Netherlands to get set and they're being able to pressure the ball at the oh, tackle zone. They've there. turned it over. Nate Roberts puts oh, it on the no toe. One there's the no back. one's going to turn it a foot race. And the bounce. Oh, the bounce. Nate, Nate Roberts. Roberts scoops it up. He's got support there. Oh, McDonald's. Sterling through. McDonald bumps off. Back ball back well on born. the side to Wellborn. And he's gone in for his second try. Oh, good backing up by the young back rower, but it was still in McDonald. And Peter Fitzgerald that did the chase on the kick. The kick found grass. If we've seen a few times this afternoon, Nate Roberts ran through, picked up the loose pill, and was able to move it wide. And then it was that young fella, Hugo Walborn, gets his double for this afternoon. He's having a cracking game. But uh, Pally, it was all for nothing. They were building the phases. They weren't going anywhere. They were being very pedestrian. And then the turnover came with a little chip over the top. It was good vision there from Nate Roberts. And then it was a matter of how good the chase was. And Nedlin's capitalising on that. And they're going to extend the lead out here. 24 points to five with a kick to come. And uh, it just goes to show, Mitch, you let that ball bounce and it's a genuine lottery. Sterling McDonald, his enthusiasm on the edge of the field, it's been fantastic. There was a game earlier in the year where the young bloke in, in Premier Grade scored a beautiful double. He's had a good, uh, good bit of exposure to Premier Grade across the season. As has all the young fellas coming through the Netherlands grades this year. They had a very good Colts set up. They won the Premiership in Colts this year, Netherlands, against Perth Bayswater. Peter Fitzgerald has got the breeze right on that one, Mitch, and that's slotted through the posts. So you would have to say Nedlands a stranglehold on this grand final now. Yeah, that gives them a bit of comfort zone there now. 26 points to five, a 21-point deficit. Pally's going to have a long way to come back from here as they've rung out a couple of replacements, jersey number 21 on the field. And back. That could be young Christmas. Chris which means 22, someone else. So we apologise about the Oh, numbers. there's Babra Babrata's on there in jersey number 23, I think, now. And so we play through Greg, short, long ball. It's out to Seppi. He steps on the outside. It's good pace, but it's got shut down. And that's a good little hit and spin there. Oh, that is Christian Bavadra. Greg, Tui. 
gets to the outside shoulder. His support's right there. They're trying to play upbeat now, Mitch. Andrew McDonald almost breaking through that tackle, but Lovesage just holding on. The ball is stripped out there and it's play on. So Nedlin's back in control. And that just puts another dent into Pally's hopes of getting on the scoreboard and, and getting it ticking over. Ticking, a little short ball there, nice and neat. Played through to Murray Abraham. Nate Roberts clears from the back. Oh. Lovers, he's just going into the contest. He's on there too, he needed to give that. He did need to offload there, he just decided to go himself and into the contact. And that is a great set of hands. Sterling McDonald, he's having a cracking game. Scooped that ball in one hand, back to Roberts. Roberts going naturally, throwing a long ball. Loversidge puts it on the toe. It's been touched, so it's uh, lost a bit of length on it. Turner scoops it up, looking at his options. Goes into contact. And good bit of discipline there from Nedlands, not uh, going in, giving away the penalty through Greg. Up back to Pavadra. Plays to Short. Short looking up, seeing what he's got. He's got space, that's what he's got. Goes into contact. And once again, the turnover, the breakdown, the support not doing a good enough job. Nedlin's yeah. being able to turn that over to a penalty. Yeah, I think it was Idiot it was that got the turnover there and the penalty for Nedlin's that time. And he just, just goes to show his strength there. Even though he's young, Mitch, he's got a fantastic solid frame on him. And he was very, very hard to move. There was no moving him once he got on the ball. Again, Pally going side to side on a regular basis at the moment. Just getting halfway through there. Like Mitch Short's had a couple of little half breaks this afternoon. Soon got one beautiful pass away, which led to the Adam Turner try. But just failing themselves a little bit at the moment, Palmyra. Nedlin's just being a little bit more clinical. I just get a feeling here that this scoreline could blow out in the next 10 minutes. And it's a nice, neat line out by Nedlands. It's a good platform to play oh, off. <laughs> great hit. I think it was Andrew McDonald, was it, that's come in for that shot. And uh, bell ringer, Wellborn, takes it. He gets his shoulders through and he's great leg drive there. So he's picked up some extra metres. It sent the Pally defence backwards, given the options to Stevens to take on the line. Andrew McDonald certainly, did, my hair's doing an absolute truckload of work for Pally there. Yeah, he's got that one as well. So. McDonald, he's got a couple of pilfers this afternoon. As Turner goes quickly and goes long. And, uh, Pally definitely needs something because the longer this game goes with the score line it is, yeah. You would think uh, Nedlands have got their hands on the cup. About to ready to, I think they're about ready to pour a beer in it and celebrate. Yeah, there won't be too much longer to go in this half. I think we'll be down in the last 10 or 15 minutes to go here, so it's just about closing the game out. As Pally come off the top and go wide out the back. The Vadra offloads short, looking at options. And the, the, the Netherlands' defence is a little bit slower in the midfield now for the back, so Short has had a couple of opportunities to square up the defence. The Vadra holding the ball high, looking to offload. He's, he's looking to be a threat. Lovasic just lying in there. Oh, yeah. like he's sunning himself. <laughs> you hope he's got sunscreen on that ball head. Christmas takes the ball quickly, plays. Tapped on, two, he gets it in his hands. This is Galt. Matthias Galt looking to offload there, but decides to hold the ball as he goes to ground. Christmas plays long ball. It's Turner out there on the edge. Picked up. Oh, I tell you picked what, up they by had Christmas. He's, and he scored. Yeah, they'll run back. It looked like it was Christmas. The young player over on that far side that came on a few moments ago. They'll try and get a quick conversion here, Pally, but certainly a sneaky little try out there on the, the far side. It was good lead-up work from Turner. And certainly Matthias Galt, also a nice carry from him. And that's just what the doctor ordered. That might give Pally a little bit more spring in their step. Give him a little bit more confidence to keep playing with the ball in hand. Bevrad has made a big uh, difference since he's been on the field. Dwayne, he's looking to get offloads away. So, you know, they probably need to go through more him a little bit more and yeah. just play a little bit tighter before releasing the outside backs. But certainly 
Nettie's just get, just going to sleep a little bit there, Dwayne. Just, just maybe there, yeah, and you're exactly right. Christian Bavadra has uh, added a spark, and he is. He's looking to be a threat. So the Netherlands' defence, if they, especially in the backs there, if they just hold off a little bit, maybe, maybe they have started to celebrate, Mitch, and uh, starting to think... Yeah, think about the first beer in the cup, and that is a, a conversion missed. So they needed those points as they come back to the centre of the field. The Midlands won't be in any hurry to restart here. They'll wind down the clock a little bit. And Nate Roberts has got a lot of experience. Um, and uh, just, just making sure we're clear on that, that is, uh, it's, it's Ben Allen who's actually got that try there and is playing yeah. half, half back four. No, so he's in jersey number 23, 23. Okay, so, so Ben Allen and uh, young Troy Christmas is in 21. He's yes. gone to half back. Right, so we've got that clear, so we, we've got that right, which is great. Christmas plays the ball from the back. Shorty, Mitchell Short carrying there into contact and oh, doing no. well, very well to get oh. the extra yards. Christmas plays. So Pally are coming, they've got some, they've got a step. A spring in the step, sorry. Tui carrying it forward. Where was this earlier in the match? Oh. Greg leaves it over his shoulder and it's loose. And that Chance. is that little knock on, that little error. Yeah, and they were hot on attack there, Palmyra. Just that one pass just on the back shoulder though, Dwayne. But uh, certainly there are opportunities are plenty. They probably need to go a little bit wider there. As more reserves are going to inject themselves in. We've got Keaton Matthews coming down sideline. So they look good, Pally, when they're playing at speed and they're playing at pace. Just got a little get be a little bit more accurate. Definitely, and uh, that accuracy probably one of those things that we spoke earlier about, Mitchell, um, with the the tackle zone and the little knock-ons as they play. Netherlands gets pressure from Troy Christmas. Good defence there, but Netherlands will be able to play out of this ruck even though there's pressure on them. There is a penalty, so the referee's seen the penalty there. So. It's an opportunity for Pally. They'll uh, they'll want to do this quite quickly. Yeah, it was a little bit of sloppy play there. Samuel Murray Abraham at number eight there. Probably just a little bit of miscommunication with Nate Roberts. I think they should have played down the right hand side here through a eight nine, but Nate uh, went to the other side on the left, and I think just a mis bit of bit of miscommunication, and Abrams just got himself isolated. And again, Pally just being able to put pressure at the breakdown. So if they can get a try here, we got game on. Is that uh, change so the double try scorer number six Hugo Wellborn coming from the field he had a very good game he can be happy with his grand final being replaced Keaton Matthews well I was gonna give him my alcohol thing again man of the match if he stays on the field well, you, you can be man of the match if you come off Mitch I think if you play that well and that uh, Pally there's he little Benny Allen again looking for some work they've done with him Andrew McDonald carrying Max Bailey in support. They secure the ball. Christmas. He's looking busy, Troy Christmas. He wants to wants to add the spark. Pally line up on the right side. They want to go that way and they do so. Playing out the back and it's not a good pass, but Bavadra scoops it up. Turner. He's just, I don't know how, but he snuck his way out of that tackle and he's still alive. The uh, assistant referee has said, you have gone out there, sir. We will have a line out to Nedlands. Yeah, it was certainly on down the right-hand side touch line there, but it was just a bit of a, a loose pass out the back. And then Adam Turner did very well to try and stay in and get a loose pass away, but just touching the chalk there. But Nedlands will get a, a relieving line out here. And it's not the world's greatest throw, but uh, Nedlands have won the ball. I'm just going to rumble it up here. That's a good option. And they definitely will, and there's uh, no doubt when Nate Roberts is ready, he'll probably look to uh, clear it through a kick. And they do so, Netherlands. And all, all it does is wind down the clock a little bit, Mitch, which is exactly what Netherlands will try to do here. They'll just uh, play the game at their pace. 
Yeah, the 16-point buffer here at the moment, 26 points to 10. Almira, two unconverted tries in this half. When you look at that, Mitch, you know, does that make a difference? If they're converted, it's 26-14. They, they feel like they might be a little bit more in the game. So Absolutely. Play Vadra out the back, and that's a wide ball to Sasepi. I would have liked to have seen more of Sasepi today. He's, he's worked hard when he's got the ball in his hand. And he's had the ball stripped. You've got to value the ball there, especially in that instance. So Nedlands get it back. Nate Roberts looking up. He'll box kick this. Yeah, again, Nedlands very comfortable going to the sideline at the moment. And you don't, you know, you don't, you don't lose your your game sense or your skills, even though you're uh, probably getting into the rugby world's older ages. Nate Roberts. He's played some high-level rugby and he's an experienced man at finals footy. There is pressure there from Netherlands, but Palmyra are able to win their line out. Troy Christmas digs it out. It's Junior Greg, plays out the back to Bavadra. Short coming off his shoulder, but it goes to the feet. Maya King. Look at him. He lights up when he gets balls and some space. He gets an offload. King. The ball's put on the toe there, and it's a foot race. We love a good foot race. It's a bit messy there. And it's hard to see who's got that. It's, a, it's definitely a contest at the breakdown, and Pally have come back with it through Turner. Troy Christmas clapping his hands. He wants the ball. He wants the Spark up some sort of attack. And that's a great offload. This is Nathaniel Stafford. He's tried oh, to push the grubber. And he's done a molly grubber. He had an opportunity there to set something up and he's tried to put the ball onto his foot and missed it completely. So Nedlin's back into control of the ball. That'll come through Jamie Horgood. Slowing it down now. Looking to play it through the forwards there, that's ball carries it forward. Yeah, definitely slowing it down, they'll put it on the foot. As Dylan Loversidge throws it into touch. And Nedlands running out victors in the reserve grade grand final. And uh, probably some lost opportunities there through some poor ball handling at the, at the tackle zone, Mitch. Yeah, it was a pretty one-sided affair, this grand final for reserve grade. The minor premiers, Nedlands, always had control of the game. They scored four tries to two this afternoon. There was a double to Hugo Wellborn. Maya King scored a beautiful try, and so did Sterling McDonald. And three conversions to the fullback, Peter Fitzgerald, to bring it out to the 26 points. For Palmyra this afternoon, well, they got a try to, try to Troy Christmas and a try to Ben Allen. Um, they tried hard all day, Palmyra. They certainly put a lot of pressure through the breakdown, there were some very good performances there through their back row, Anna McDonald and Nathan Stafford. But for mine, Nedlin's best out there this afternoon. Jake Stevens, the number 13, had a very, very good game. Dylan Lovesage, the skip up, steered his team around the park very well all afternoon. Uh, Jack Nobbin and the front row through Tamala, Moatane, Hallgood. Hallgood playing his 200th game this afternoon. Well done to him. There's no better way to celebrate a 200 but with a grand final medal around your neck. So, well done to Nedlands. They were the club champions this year. They've got teams in grand finals in two, threes and fours. But uh, that'll wind us up here now for our Fortescue Reserve. Great game. Nedlands going out victors, 26 points to 10.